evaluate the definite integral of f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx. So basically this is undoing the chain rule. Okay, so remember the chain rule, the derivative d dx of f of g of x. If you differentiate f of g of x, you're going to have f prime of g of x times g prime of x. That's the chain rule, right? So what if you uh, found the antiderivative of both sides of this equation? Just you're basically trying to undo everything, okay? So um, what we're gonna do is multiply both sides by dx. If we multiply both sides by dx, we're gonna have. Let me show you my work. Multiply, kind of like solving. Uh, differential equation by separation of variables. So if you multiply both sides by dx, you have d f of g of x, right, um, equals um, f prime of uh, g of x times g prime of x dx. All right, and then if you integrate both sides like that, so just look at this as a variable like dy okay you can think about this as dy and then if you integrate one dy what do you end up with you just end up with y right so on the left side um this is simply going to be f of g of x equals the integral um of f prime of g of x times g prime of x study this the right side of this equation for a second isn't that exactly what we have here that's what we have okay so this is basically the reverse of the of the chain rule you're integrating the result of the chain rule all right so if you integrate the result of the chain rule you end up with the composite function f of g of x so let's go ahead and apply it uh, this idea to this problem so the problem asks us to find the definite integral from negative 2 to 3 of f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So the antiderivative of the derivative of a composite function is the composite function function f of g of x evaluated at its limits of integration negative 2 to 3. All right, so using FTC part uh, 1, we're going to plug in the limits of integration. Uh, we have f of g of 3 minus f of g of 2. I'm sorry, negative 2. All right, so we're going to be making use of the, the um, f and the g uh, rows in computing the value of this expression. So let's go up to find, um, we have to find g of 3 and g of negative 2 first. So let's go ahead and find that g of 3 as 1, g of negative 2 is negative 1. So we're going to plug that in first. So we're going to have f of 1 minus f of negative 1. Okay. Now we're going to switch to the f column. All right. So we're going to find f of 1 and f of negative 1. So f of 1 is 2, f of negative 1 is 8. So we're going to put that back in f of 1 is 2 minus f of negative 1, which is 8. 2 minus 8 is negative 6. And that's the value of the definite integral of f of f prime of g of x times g prime of x from negative 2 to 3. All right, so that's that. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great um, calculus clips such as this. Please post a comment in the comment section to let us know where um, what you think about this tutorial. And do give us a thumbs up and a favorite if you liked it. More clips can be found on map.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.